Hello everyone, I have all of my graphics settings set up such that I get the highest frames per second. We're going to start at the top of the list. For hardware, we've got display mode, full screen. For monitor, we've got one. Refresh rate, we've got 144 hertz. Gameplay, V-Sync, we've got disabled. Menu, V-Sync, we've got disabled. NVIDIA, Reflex, low latency, we've got enabled normal. The reason this is on enabled normal and not disabled is because this optimizes the system latency. And what system latency is, is basically if you do an action, how fast the system is going to respond to that action. And we're not doing enabled boosted because if you do enabled boosted, that's going to take away from the frames per second of your system because it's going to be working your GPU harder. Render resolution, we go all the way up to 100 for this. And this is pretty much the only graphic setting that we are going to increase. The reason for this is this will help you to see your enemies better. Display resolution is whatever resolution your monitor is at. I just use a 1080p 144 hertz monitor. Aspect ratio automatic. Then under display for colorblind modes, I just have have disabled since I'm not colorblind field of view 100 and I have this set to 100 so I can see as much as possible this is kind of a happy medium ADS field of view I have affected and affected makes it so you have as much of that field of view as possible when you aim down your sights brightness I have set to 50 frame rate limit I have on custom and then I just limit everything to 144 frames per second because that's the refresh rate of my monitor underneath details and textures for texture quality we've got lowest model quality low HD game textures and model models don't even have that downloaded special effects quality medium screen space reflection disabled object view distance low water tessellation disabled underneath shadow and lighting we've got volumetric lighting on low shadow quality low dynamic shadows disabled special effect shadows disabled weapon shadow disabled underneath ray tracing everything is disabled here under post processing effects we've got anti aliasing quality disabled ambient occlusion quality disabled motion blur disabled, motion blur quality low, subsurface scattering disabled, and order independent transparency disabled. And finally under advanced for VRAM usage target we've got default 80%. For display gamma we've got computer sRGB. And then for display adapter I just choose auto select since I only have one GPU in my PC. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions at all please post them in the comment section. Leave a like if you found this to be helpful. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.